All right, how's everyone doing this evening? Good, good. All right, so my name is Mike Keith May, and before I start, this is a brief introduction of who I am. So, my name is Mike Keith May, that's Mike Keith May, I'm a native player. Um, I'm class president, I'm a fourth grade school student, and pretty much my idea for my organization was kind of created off of things I do within the community already. So, I'm in the National Honor Society, and I also volunteer with different local organizations, like the Great Investment. And so, Here's my intro. So, the name of my organization is called Sky's the Limit. And pretty much what Sky's the Limit would be is a non profit, non profit organization. Ooh, no, here we go youth and for adult education. And within that, um, it would kind of be based off of things that happen within the inner city. Um, I don't want to make it to where you know, we're just doing it for the money. I want it to be actually where I can buy with my students and my peers. Um, due to the school that I go to, I witness things all the time with kids who feel like they're on track, they have nowhere else to go, or no future within them. So I kind of want to create this to basically bring the out of them and let them know that we are with them at all times. So quick information that I'll provide for you is within Michigan, on any one night, approximately 24,713 shelter homeless individuals um, will always sleep. And with an additional 41,338 are unsheltered, which leaves a total of 56,051. Um, according to Michigan's four year job hour rate, 865% of Michigan students have been moving up from high school education. And with leaves from there, out of that 865, 42% end up homeless. And so moving forward with the incarceration rate, 256,000 Michigan residents are behind bars or under criminal justice supervision. And that goes for probation, house arrest, and things of that matter. So within the organization, we will have various business aspects. Starting from the top, it will be carefully designed programming. So before I will actually move forward with making this happen, I will go over all different ways of how it can be the top on the list on different organizations that compete with us. Uh, we will have trained staff looking for and people that actually can buy with our peers. So I will look for individuals that are in inner city or that actually have people that they know that have went through things or even if they haven't got their education or have been in the same shoes. Pretty much we will have family involvement. I don't want them to feel sheltered in. I don't want them to feel connected with their peers and with their family and just know that they are separate than the outside world. We will also have therapy within depression and anxiety because I feel like that takes place within education also. Um, a lot of people don't think about that. People have things going on at home, they're quick to judge. So I feel like within my program, I would like to touch on that and make people like they're not separate or they should feel bad for having some things that they're going through. Um, so within our organization, we will also provide knowledgeable and transferable skills in everyday life. And we'll also have peer culture approach. And so what that would be, what that would be is instead of them just interacting with the peers at the organization, I would have them go to like every or Beckton or East Lansing and do different programs um, within them. And I will also do fun opportunities off campus to build their self-esteem. So now moving forward into the adult program. We will have a school curriculum, so I will try to get anything possible from different local high schools or different schools in the area. Um, textbooks or different project design or different things that I can use to help them further their education. Uh, we will prepare them for the GED, so even if they don't want to advance how to go back into, I would say, college, I would at least try to get them where they would have their high school education so they could possibly get better jobs. Um, we will provide trade skills, so like being an electrician or a carpenter, so if they, even if they don't want to, like I say, sell within school, they can still have some of the trade skills to make money and even possibly brand and build their own company in the future. So we will have money in business management, so pretty much with that, we would just teach them how to manage their money and things of that matter, um, which kind of ties to what I stated prior about them having daily life skills. And once I say it again, filling out job applications and paying taxes and et cetera, that will go and tie into that as well. So within the organization, like I stated earlier, I wouldn't want to charge for it, so it would be it's not profit and it would be providing a community service. Um, the target for it and the attention that we want to get the most from trouble youth or teens and adults looking for a fresh start. And so, like I said, I do interact with the community so far, and I've heard 
that this would be a great thing to acknowledge because it's such a powerful topic within the economy, especially within the inner cities. And so the way that it would help people is in efforts of increasing poverty, unemployment, incarceration, and death rates. Moving from that, the organization, like I said, Pi would be non-profit, so it would not be a charge, and the way we would make our money and get paid is based on fundraisers, donations, and investments, who I will post to the city of Lansing, or, or the city of Lansing, or local businesses, and then we'll also use the business and personal funds. So I will try to put as much money in as possible, and I have my own job now, so like, moving forward, I'll have to do different activities and just keep on working myself to put in my personal funds. Um, I have a lot of connections and people that I know have their own businesses as it is, so I would try to reach to them first and just pretty much any ally that I have to kind of go and further my business. So just because I want everyone to be <coughs> taken care of for our investors, I will give them a cut, which will be a promotion for their business and tax incentives. Um, our customers will learn about vision through social media because that's a big thing now and TikTok and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. We will also do advertisements, newspapers, articles, and interviews. Um, so I have connections also with interviews because I do it a lot within my schools and just with sports and things that matter. So I have people that I've talked to before I even created this idea and that they will have no problem branching off and expanding um, pretty much the idea of the organization. Um, pretty much I would encourage referrals by business aspects that make us unique in our own way. So within, not even just Lansing, but Michigan, there's various different organizations that are similar. And just so that we don't have any buff in the roads and that we excel beyond them, um, we would have different unique things that we provide to the table. So some ideas of companies, organizations that are similar to mine are EL Play Mountain Academy, Masters Beach, and Caribbean Mountain. So the annual net income, I started off somewhat reasonable. I know it's like a lot, but I want to explain why. Pretty much we start off with $40,000, which is justified by expenses, which is technology. But the technology we wanted kind of based on how new tech is within every, um, is project-based learning. So with new tech, we use technology and computers, and we have our own laptops. I would want to use that because I feel like not only are they learning about the curriculum within school, but they're also learning how to advance and learn about technology, which is a big thing in the world today. Um, I would have money for books materials, workers, and within materials, it would just be like different things within our project and our hands-on learning. Um, I would have to pay for our workers, our location, our food, and so forth from that. Um, one concern that I have within this is consistency and competition from similar programs and organizations. Maybe someone can get from one point A to point B, or an organization is closer to them than mine. So what we do is that from that, we will or, we would kind of organize our own transportation route system and buses to pick up. Um, one program that's similar to mine that I thought had a good transportation system is the Boys and Girls Club. So based on that, we would do something similar to that. Um, and also we provide unique assets that separate from, separates us from other organizations um, to make sure that we are long lasting and that we don't get taken out of business. So, as you pay attention, this quote has popped up various times within the PowerPoint. And the reason why I told this quote is because for one it ties into my name, as you can see, Sky's Limit, you see that? Okay, <laughs> so pretty much within that, what I wanted to do is for disciplinary action, if someone is not having a good day or they're like not really feeling how they usually do, I don't want to use kind of a force or overdo my authority um, or any of my workers also. So what I would say is, I would have to talk to them, communicate with them um, on a certain level and use this quote and how to get them back on page. Um, because I've worked with kids with special disabilities and that helps them also. And I've asked my peers and different, um, pretty much, administrators about how they feel about taking that approach with saying a quote to install in their brain to kind of just get them where they're just memorized and things like that. So. Just to say the quote is, no road is long when things are big and sky is the limit. And so pretty much that is my presentation. And that's the end. Yes. Yeah.